School districts across the state are seeing an influx of new funding, money to address COVID state funding, and many of new bond money as well. Now, that cash boost is really making a difference. So today, we send Paula Dutman over to Port Huron to take a closer look at the visible difference the money is making in the education experience. Hi, Paula. Hey, Karen. Hi, everybody. I'm not sure it gets any more visual than this. So take a look at this. So I'm at the Port Huron Administration Building as well as the Early Childhood Center. There's a line of demarcation right here. On this side, you have the old construction. On this side, brand new construction. And what's really great about this visual, I mean, this hard visual, is you really get an opportunity to see how your money is being spent to improve education. In the Port Huron School District, there are three pots of money. Bond money from 2016 that totaled $106 million, in which the district is in its last year of spending. Government CARES Act monies and ESSER funds to the tune of $42 million. General fund monies from the state legislature of $63 million, which would have normally been $58.3 million, but it raised the per pupil spending by 400 bucks per student. We have 7,500, um, we have 16 schools. And while there are a lot of numbers to throw around, here's how it shakes loose at the granular level. It's the ability to change education for children. Teachers are getting paid more. In fact, every staffer got a raise. Typical classroom before and now. It looks like 21st century right now. You walk into here, it's like a spaceship in some classrooms. This is what the media center looked like before. Old, used, outdated. This is what it looks like now. Desks that were relics are now modern and ergonomic. New air filtration systems have been installed. M13 filters, which filter out more of the pathogens that, that cause disease, whether it's COVID or, or not. Um, uh, we're putting those things in so that every classroom is safer um, with the air that the kids are, are breathing. And that's the stuff you see. The stuff you feel is the three new administrators called deans, and they've been added to help with in-school issues. Counselors go beyond the school and into the community. So it allows us to say, okay, what is it that we can do differently um, that we probably couldn't do before because we didn't have the money? They call their tutoring high dosage with before and after school credit recovery, smaller class sizes, behavioral interventionist coaches. The list is long, but what this means is that even when the COVID money goes away, and it will. It allows us to create an infrastructure. Think of it as infrastructure, academic infrastructure, uh, social emotional infrastructure, things that are desperately needed. And so in three or four years, when the money goes away, we have the infrastructure in place uh, for our families, for our students, for our staff. And that again allows us to continue the good work that we've started now into the future. Yeah, you know, when you talk about the future, listen, this isn't just the Port Huron School District. Take a look at your school district. There's a lot of school districts. And also, because of the way this was funded, the way the money came into these districts, it actually starts closing the gap of per pupil funding. So those schools that have a lower tax base, their schools are getting almost as much money as the ones with a higher tax base, Karen. Gosh, the visuals are amazing. You know, as you've many times reported, that change in atmosphere changes your attitude and gives you a better chance to learn. Great way to end our week. Thank you, Paula.